Well, it's a very exciting conference to talk specifically about innovation in fields like health and medicine, uh, clean technology, uh, internet communications. Uh, all of these technologies are growing at an exponential rate, meaning they're doubling in power for the same cost every year. So these technologies will be a million times more capable in 20 years, a thousand times more powerful in 10 years, and it will be a very different era. The pace of change is getting faster and faster. If you think back just a few years ago, there were no blogs, no wikis, no social networks. Eight years ago, most people didn't use search engines. The pace of change is getting faster and faster. And the tools of innovation are in everybody's hands. It used to be you had to be a big company in order to create innovation or a big movie studio to create a movie. Today, a kid in her dorm room can create a full-length motion picture in high definition with a $500 camera and our, and our personal computer. A couple of kids at Stanford created uh, Google with just $1,000 laptop. So everybody has the tools of change in their hands. Everything that's important is becoming an information technology. Take health and medicine. That was not an information technology just a few years ago. We didn't have the genome. We didn't have mo information models about how biology works. Today, it's an information technology. We have the software that life runs on. Uh, we are able to design interventions on computers, test them out in biological simulators. We can change our genes in a mature individual. So these technologies will be a thousand times more powerful in 10 years and it will be a different era. Even energy is becoming an information technology as we apply nanotechnology to solar panels. The key to success is being able to anticipate what technology will be. It turns out to be very predictable. Uh, I try to actually figure out where technology will be three or four years from now when I finish a project and design the project for that future world. Because most people don't succeed because they get the timing wrong. That's really a, a very key lesson. And it is becoming one world economy. We, we've seen that in the cu current economic downturn. There were problems in one sector in one country and suddenly the whole world was affected. But that can also be a positive thing because everybody has a worldwide market. We can reach everybody through the internet at very low cost. And the tools for creating innovation are very inexpensive today. So everybody can do it uh, if they have a good idea. Information technology will be a thousand times more powerful for the same cost and it'll be a hundred times smaller in size. Uh, that applies to health and medicine, which is now an information technology. So we're going to begin to be able to reprogram our own genes, the software that life runs on, and actually program our ways away from uh, heart disease and cancer. I believe we will overcome major diseases starting in about 10 years. We're going to extend human longevity. But 15 years from now, we'll be adding more than a year every year to your remaining life expectancy. So the sands of time will start running in rather than running out. It turns out, and this is surprising, that if you measure the underlying information properties of a technology, like the price performance of computing or the cost of sequencing a base pair of DNA or capturing a megabyte of brain data, uh, that turns out to be very predictable. And basically, these measures approximately double every year. And I, and I say this now not just looking backwards. I've been making accurate predictions uh, you know, going forward for now 30 years. When I was an undergraduate at MIT, we all shared one computer took up half a building. Today, the computer in your cell phone is a million times cheaper and a thousand times more powerful than the computer we all shared when I was a student. That's a billion-fold increase in the amount of computer you get per euro. Uh, and that's going to continue, and it's also very predictable. And I've been making accurate predictions based on this. And it generally affects every field, including health and medicine or energy. Uh, you can predict where technology will be. And that's actually an important lesson for an innovator. This is a very exciting conference. There are very, very diverse innovations in lots of fields, such as health and medicine, clean technology, uh, that are forward-looking. And some of them actually sound very futuristic, but won't be futuristic in just a few years. And it's actually important to, to plan your projects, not for the world of today, but for the future world. And many of the projects here are doing that. And they will have access to a worldwide market at very low cost through communication in the internet. And it's really a worldwide marketplace today.